Meet James Fowler, everyone. James Fowler was famous for creating a theory of faith development that tracked a person's faith as they went from essentially zero years to the end of their life. As you watch the stages unfold today, take a moment and kind of find out where you think you're at in terms of the scale. Remember when you were a baby? No, of course not. And this first stage of faith development is like Justin Timberlake's song, Mirror. You basically reflect back everything that you see done in your home from the people around you. So whatever you see, your family, parents, loved ones doing, what you hear in the house, these are the things that form your initial stage of faith. If you see your family acting like this at church, you will act like that at church. Similarly, if your parents pray like this before going to bed, you will too. Stage one, you're the sponge and you're just basically absorbing all the beliefs from the family around you. As you can see from these super fun teenagers, we're leaving childhood and entering the world of adolescence. We're probably almost in high school where you are right now. So this stage, stage two, is the narrative stage. We focus on stories, but they're very literal. We look at them through a literal interpretation. So let's look at an example of that in terms of creation. God formed man from the dust of the earth. He breathed the breath of life into his nostrils and the man became a living person. God planted a garden in Eden and placed the man there. God ordered beautiful trees and trees that bear fruit to grow up from the ground. In the middle of the garden, he placed the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So these kind of simple explanations of clear-cut good and evil give comfort at stage two. Now, Maybe some people stay in this stage longer than others. As you remember from the start of this video, it's a progression that you move through, not only in terms of years, but just in terms of maturity, prayer life, etc. okay? Oh, so it's happy teenagers again. So this stage is a very adolescent stage. You begin to kind of shift from the stories and begin to question things, but approval from the group is very important to you. You may start to see contradictions, but God begins to be seen for you in other people, perhaps a boyfriend, a relationship with a parent. So it's an extension of the interpersonal. Stage four, those teenagers are gone, you are alone. You begin to develop your own spiritual beliefs separate from the group, and authority begins to shift for you. You really begin to question your own path, working on your own ideas, and nothing is certain. So this can be a very difficult place for people because they no longer have the surety of stages like one and two. Okay, this stage is usually later in life, around 40, and trust is key. We surrender our doubts and our questions and give it up to the divine. We realize that absolute answers cannot be found, and we really start to trust in the mystery of God. <laughs> 